going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are going for a plv drive in a 900 brake horsepower m140i if you've not seen the main feature go check it out we sam roosh have a good brother thank you for letting me do the quick plv so uh, quickly let's go over the car for anyone that's brand new so it's a full williams performance build uh he's done all the engine work all the ancillaries bolted on the car is all by Mark at Williams Performance. The tuning is done by Eamon at HLC. Got a few nice little upgrades on the aesthetic side of things. CT Carbon front and rear, M2 front and back, and yes. a wrap by AJ's Atelier. Right, so just uh, to give people an idea, we've got a built engine, so yeah, pistons, so rods. Pistons, rods, yeah. uh, custom fuel setup, so uh, port injection with port methanol, Yeah. big boost, G35 1050 Garrett. Wow, and um, you'd estimate horsepower to be 900 ish? 900 yeah, it plus? turned up, it does about 900, 800 at the wheel. Uh, today we're on about maybe 750 ish. We're on ethanol tonight, today, yeah? Yeah, we're on the E40 blend. E40 blend, yeah. And uh, has it got a pump map? Like, do you know what it does? Yeah, we've got a pump map as well. That's still in the fours. Mm. Today we're probably mid fours, something like that. Um, and I hope to see the car in the threes quite soon. And we're running uh, methanol as well? Yeah, we've got port methanol. Thumbed in, ready to go. Switchable maps, this one MHD, yeah? MHD, yeah. Tuned by, sorry, who is it again? Eamon at HLC. HLC. And uh, gearbox, uh, so these do like loads of different variations. Yeah, You've yeah, gone that's with a right. what? I've um, gone with an HP70 gearbox upgrade, mm -hmm. again from Mark at Williams Performance. Yeah. And it's been faultless. Yeah. Can't recommend it enough if you're running big power. You capped the torque at about 1,000 Newton meters, you say? 1,000, yeah, thereabouts. Nice. 1,000 Newton meters, guys, in an M140. So, uh, yeah, man, let's jump out. Let's quickly do this. Let's go. Yeah, so a quick little POV guys. Um, I mean, look, we, we just done the main feature on like a true carriageway and uh, this is a car that, yeah, it's very, very powerful, man. It's not for the shorter roads, but let me tell you, like the car feels, uh, or should I say drivability is like a normal M140i, but this car does feel extra special. Like straight away, you get this super, super planted feel. I've driven, you guys know how many I've given away, at least five M140s and this one just feels different and uh, it's got to be down to you say you've got the freeway bc racing coilovers yeah overs. freeway uh, bcs um and the whole car was dialed in by mark at williams performance yeah so that's definitely man it's got to be the suspension because you've done what uh poly, it's been poly bushed you've got yeah, the brace the whole in rear subframes poly bushed yeah it's got m4 front lower control arms and tension straps yeah so you've done extra oh yeah so you've even got that as well so widens the front track i think by approximately 12 mil yeah but right now like it feels very analog guys it's the most m car uh feel i've had from an m140 100 percent get a window down so you lot can have a listen i won't come on hard look <laughs> Bro, guys you got a clue how far this car is man i'm like smiling just thinking about it bruv yeah, that screamer, guys. That was a third gear pull, man. Jesus! <laughs> Brakes feel good. You got upgraded disc as well, haven't we? Yeah, we've got braided lines. I think it's Ferrado pants. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I'm harnessing like an absolute beast. You definitely got to drive it with a bit more caution without fail, but the traction's amazing. I mean, third gear pull that was, not all the way through the RPM, but look, it's still nice. You know, we've got a G35 1050, which are usually a little bit laggy. Like you've got the 900 option, which I was considering for the GTR, but still very quick spooling, man. Big turbo cars, man. Bro, that comes on just like my GTR, you know that? Yeah, really? It's that, yeah, because I've got the same turbo, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. Yeah. That, bro, that just reminded me of my GTR then, like, clearly the turbo, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm like tickling the throttle. 
<laughs> so Roosh, what are you saying? Um, so to do like a build like this, we're talking like deep into the 15, 20s? Yeah, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a few quid. Bro, what, what can, 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 yeah, I mean, I'm gobsmacked at the way it's putting his power down. Yeah, um, I think the chassis, the handling mods are, you know, hand in hand with the way the tuner has dialed in the cars work yeah. really well. Yeah, you've done all the right bits and it's just nuts to think you could pick up an M140 for 20 grand, yeah. spend 50, I mean, you don't have to take it to this level, but genuinely guys, imagine 40,000 pounds and you can probably be, not probably, you will be every supercar like on a roll without yeah. fail, right? Yeah, pretty much. What supercar can do a 4.400, 200? The, the 720S? I actually, I actually looked at some of these figures online the other day and when I look at cars like Veyron's. That's they, what they're doing, like. Yeah, that's the similar sort of times yeah. that, you know, I mean, that's a hypercar. It's not even a supercar yeah. anymore. And it costs a million pounds. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, it did cost um, a million, didn't it? And short of that, you're probably spending. And Bro, there's, there's no... 100 grand at it to yeah. get into that sort of performance. Value. But this is what I'm trying to say. There's no factory supercar that can... 40 grand. We're talking like, you know what I mean? Half a million pound cars and shit. Sorry, Roosh, I had to give it there, mate. That's <laughs> <laughs> what it's built for, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know what? You've resold me, man. I decided that I'm going to leave my ML40. I'm going to do like a... A track style build, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to chat off camera, mate. Yeah, yeah, no worries, yeah, man. man. That, bro, I want this shit. I want to, I want to feel this exciting as well. Rear wheel drive when you're four wheel drive and you've got this kind of power, yeah, they're fast, but bro, there's no sort of in like, not to disrespect yeah, yeah, yeah. people that have these, but you're not having to do anything like it's even my GTR. Yeah, I don't yeah. do anything, bro. You can jump in my car at 1900 brake and drive the out of it, really, seriously. Yeah, you I mean, can. You can do it, bro. Like third, like you know, it's nothing. I think a lot of people out there, you know, there's there's sort of two, three different kinds of car owners. There's the driver that wants to really get involved in managing that power themselves, so they've yeah. got a bit more involved with it. Bro, this is a special, special car, man. And you've gone through uh, quite a few variations of it as well. Yeah, you? yeah. Like... I've had probably every single power variation and set of mods. <laughs> <laughs> set of mods that you could have on the car yeah. until we've ended up as it sits today yeah so you came to me um what should i say i contacted you about four years ago yeah, yeah. and we filmed it. your car was nardo gray was it at the yeah time? nardo gray at the, time. the comp star wheels what is it 500 brakes something like that yeah about 500 at the time but yeah guys 4.4 just think about it for a second 4.4 100 to 200 that is bugatti veyron times i know it's a bit of a cliche thing yeah smoke a veyron that's that's like you know what i mean if you if you was considering an rs3 right now you could just you know what i mean spend half of that on an m140 and just go and mod the hell out of it jesus bro this is scary fast man it goes in it you gotta be careful man i was like do i commit let me commit like, <laughs> I mean, but it was a risk do you know what i mean like <laughs> It's like, yeah, now I'm, I had to just believe in myself to hold it straight, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the car's oh, really you know. capable. So what's next, Roosh, for the car? Any more plans? Like, yeah, are, you, are, you, are you happy, content? I'm, I'm very content with the car the way it is, but yeah. I am very tempted to put a built head on it. And what would that do? What, what's the Maybe goal? Maybe just enable us to push a little bit higher up the rev range. Okay. Squeeze a little bit more power out of it. The engine build itself, the pistons and rods, capable well beyond what package this car is yeah the rods and pistons that are actually in this car are 1600 brake capable what company are they are they mall or so i've got mall pistons yeah. and uh ppm rods right rods are rated to about 1600 horsepower so we're barely tickling them it's mad isn't it yeah guys i'm gonna end the video there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and make sure to follow Rouge on social media. You need to be following most, probably, probably the fastest M140 in the country. I'll say it's up there. One of them, like it's definitely yeah up there. So yeah, where can people find you, Rouge? Yeah, it's uh, Instagram, RO05HXX. Hit me up, guys. Appreciate your support. Cool, man. I'll leave uh, all the links in the description. But uh, yeah, I'm out, people. Down like speed hump, no key pop.
when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel, that's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear.